All dual scopes support two general purpose digital inputs and two general purpose digital outputs. These signals are located on the connector next to the USB host connector. You can use the GPIO signals to interface with other equipment or capture signals synchronized with DualScope's current and voltage measurements. The software now fully supports these GPIOs. Let's see how it works. For this demo, I will connect the outputs to the inputs. I will use jumper wire to connect out one to in one and out zero to in zero. Now let's start the DualScope UI software. Select the oscilloscope view and enable the GPIO view. You can set the GPIO voltage. Let's use 3.3 volts. Click the checkboxes to enable in zero and in one. To display the in zero waveform, right click on settings, add in zero. Repeat for settings, add in one. Since we won't be using current or voltage for this demo, right click the Y axis and select hide on each. Since the wires connect the inputs to the outputs, we can click on the out zero and out one buttons and we will see in zero and in one change. For your application, you will likely connect the GPIO to other test equipment or even your device under test. Note that dual scope sensor in and out are electrically isolated, but the GPIOs are referenced to USB ground. If your system uses a different reference voltage or you are concerned about electrical noise, you may need to use an external electrical isolator for your signals. Like all other dual scope features, you can also control the GPIOs from custom Python scripts. The GPIOs enable you to coordinate and automate dual scope within your test setup. If you have any quick questions regarding the dual scope GPIO feature, comment down below. For more detailed questions or technical discussion, check out the dual scope forum. Happy bit twiddling, and thank you for watching.